Hey everybody, Clumpy here with another Zelda Breath of the Wild Shrine Guide. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded any of these. Uh, I got about 215 hours into the game, so I decided to take a little bit of a break and play a few other games. Um, past couple days I've been having an itch to come back and keep playing some more, try and 100% as much of the game I can as the as much of the game as I can before the DLC comes out this summer. So decided to jump back in, but anyway, this uh, shrine is the Synced Swing Shrine. Uh, pretty straightforward for the most part. Um, few difficulties here and there. Got to be good with your timing on your jumping and your magnesis use. But as you can see, the very beginning is pretty simple. Just wait on this platform. Jump on, wait for it to run across. And make sure you get a good running start on the other side here. And jump off to the other side. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, this one gets a little bit more difficult. You need to use your magnesis and push it over to the other side or pull it or whatever just whatever gets it swinging uh this one's a little bit more difficult but if you're careful you should be able to get it that's very uneven let's try that again this one's all out of whack now there we go okay let that swing a couple times. It'll be a little jumpy on you, but whatever works gets you to the other side. Uh, that one does wobble real bad, but just make sure you get to the other side, obviously. Uh, motion controls went out for a second there. Uh, so once you get to the bridge, you got the two ropes up top. You're going to shoot those off. Bridge is going to fall down. You can see the first chest over there to the right. Make sure to go grab it. There's two different Korok weapons in here, which are kind of nice to have. Uh, this one, all you're going to do is pull these out. And they're just going to let them swing. Whoops. Make sure to get them as even as possible so they don't swing back and hit you somewhere. And then just run past them. Same thing with these last two. Swing them out to the left here. Let them fall. Time it so you don't get hit by it. There is enough room in between the two big ones. It looks kind of tight there, but there is plenty of room. Uh, do the same thing over here. And then you don't have to go past the last one. There's a chest back there with another weapon. Uh, you can do it if you want or not. Uh, I've already got it, so I'm just going to skip it. But there is a chest back there if you want to grab it. So, I can't believe I just fell off right there. Ignore that. Let's try that again. Um, once you go to the top of these steps, you're going to use Magnesis to pull the block up top here. And then you're going to jump on. So, grab that, pull it up here. And then once you jump on, it'll automatically get rid of Magnesis. Roll down here. And then there is a chest behind these bottom two. You can pretty well see what to do from here. You need to get up top and get through the door there. But if you want to get the chest, this is how I did it. There might be an easier way to it. If you do find one, congratulations. If not, this way works just fine regardless. Get these blocks and just make a little stairwell with them. Then once you get the last one out, pull it out to about here. Okay, so jump off of here, grab the chest. It's going to have 300 rupees in it. It was pretty nice to have. And then just grab these and rearrange them the opposite direction and make a stairwell go in the other direction here. And then if you do it just right, I don't know why I just did that. Totally just worked out though. If you do it right, you can make it to where these are spaced out just enough where you can jump up to up to the last one again. So let's see if I did this. Uh, you're going to have to pull this one back in probably, but if you can get a running jump over here, there you go. So you can make it to where you can jump back up the top there. Uh, takes a little bit of messing with, but you can do it eventually, I promise. Uh, right here, easiest thing to do if you have a fire arrow, use it. If you do not have fire arrows, just hit this crystal here. Two lamps are going to drop from the top. Uh, you might just be able to hit an arrow on it. I don't know. What I did, I used Magnesis and got it swinging a little bit. And then once it got uh, swung over to the left here, shoot it. And then it fell down and it'll burn the rest of it. And then it's going to burn the door, obviously. So... That's the way I did it. If you have a fire arrow, just use it. Equally as easy, much faster. Uh, then once you get the door, the monk is on the other side. 
Uh, fairly long one, but uh, as I said, pretty simple. You just got to be good with your timing on shooting the flames and bridges and all that stuff. But pretty straightforward for the most part. Uh, so as always, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will talk to you later.